My resale business is in complete transformation mode and I wanna go into it a little bit further on where I see our business going. These weatherproof corduroy pants for men sold in about a year and a half and they sold for $15 plus shipping. These were some men's Gustin jeans. This is a great brand to be picking up in salvage denim. These did have a lot of distressing in some sewn up parts to the denim. So these were listed about a month ago and they sold for $20 plus shipping, but typically you could get almost close to $100 on these. But I took a lower offer because they were all sewn up there. You can't really see it, but still a nice brand to be picking up regardless, Gustin. A ton of jeans going out this weekend. This is a pair of women's Zara jeans, baggy straight leg size eight listed a year ago and sold for $9 plus shipping. All right, so we have 51 orders going out over the weekend at totaling a little under $1,300 in sales on eBay and then another $100 in sales on Poshmark. Let's get to pulling these orders so we can find out what sold. We sold these men's banana republic traveler jeans for 25 dollars plus shipping you know me i'm always picking up the banana republic traveler jeans just because they sell really fast these sold within about a month from listing so how did we go from selling 200 items a week to selling 250 items per day and that is simply switching up our reselling business model to now do more wholesale volume so we are definitely trying to now you know, switch more into selling volume. And that is on the platform whatnot. You guys have probably been following the journey for an, a while now, but for people that are new, um, we've been selling on eBay for four years. We've been doing 20 listings a day, 10 listings a day, 50 listings a day, kind of experimenting with that. And now we've just really enjoyed doing whatnot so much that we're going all in on whatnot. We are at about $26,000, $27,000 in sales on whatnot in the last 30 days. And we're looking to get that to about $60,000 a month on whatnot in about 30 days. So um, we're really trying to do more and more volume. And that brings me to my point that I want to talk about in today's video. All right, we have these wonderful Chico's Zenergy pants were listed about six, seven months ago and actually sold for $21 plus shipping. So bringing to my point of what I see happening in the reselling space and what has been going on with me in my reseller journey is that having an open mind has helped us lead to a substantial increase in not only sales, but total net income. And if I hadn't have had an open mind with exploring different platforms for our reselling, sell business, then we would be stuck at the same limited amount with eBay, Poshmark, Mercari, kind of just hoping that the platforms would give us the traffic that we needed. And while this might not apply to everyone, by switching to Whatnot, which is more of a social media-based selling platform, we were really able to see an influx in an increase in sales. And I just want to encourage everyone that's watching on the other end that's maybe struggling with sales with eBay, Poshmark, whatever it may be, just to keep an open mind that there is multiple ways for you to grow your resale business, whether it's through whole wholesale and you just like to source items but you do not like listing and storing and cleaning and all the things that go into listing on platforms there's an opportunity right now to grow your wholesale business there's also an opportunity right now to start a youtube channel to start up that instagram to start up that tiktok and start your passion and whatever you want and then also monetize that by selling on whatnot whatever you want to do. I just really want to encourage you guys that if you're struggling right now with sales, just keep an open mind and don't be so dead set on making it work. If it's not working for you after so much time, you need to reevaluate your business model and look at things from a bigger point of view so you can really start to take the next step in your journey. You never want to just stay stuck trying to bang your head over and over and over again on one thing. And if it's just not working, you may need to course correct. And that's what we did here over the last few months by selling on whatnot. We haven't even been doing it for two months and we've been able to hit great numbers. So just wanted to really kind of explain what's going on in our business. A lot of things have been changing and I've really, really taken much more enjoyment to selling on whatnot. Here's kind of what I've been up to the last few days. I think I'm gonna start just doing weekly vlogs to really help you guys get a good point of view of what I actually do every day to be able to sell 250 items every day 
on whatnot and it's a lot of processing a lot of the wholesale comes in here it all gets processed labeled into three stacks and everything gets prepped and ready to be put on the show to be sold on whatnot so that is a lot of me just processing 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 a lot of more of the boring behind the scenes stuff but if this doesn't get done then we don't make any money so a lot of processing a lot of checking for holes stains lint rolling we want to make sure we're putting the best items possible here on whatnot we got some tommy bahama we got 40 pieces of tommy bahama right here going on whatnot tomorrow if you want to bookmark the show we got 40 pieces of tommy bahama silk linen modal blends all the favorite stuff we're putting that all on whatnot starting between one and three dollars um, so we're just trying to really make sure we have great quality control putting great items on whatnot and constantly shipping out the orders so that's kind of the update as far as what i've been doing i think i'm going to start releasing a weekly video on mondays of a week in the life of what's going on because yes we are still still selling on ebay but i think it could be more helpful for people that also still want to sell on ebay but maybe want to start doing whatnot and um like i've said before all of this is going to get consolidated down and we're basically just going to have two rows for ebay and then everything is going to be consolidated down and have more space for racks more processing if you are wanting to partner with us for consignment or maybe you have a bunch of inventory that you bought and you just don't feel like listing or maybe you're shutting down your ebay store and you do not want to do ebay anymore reach out to us, link down below where you can set up a call with me and we can see if we're a right fit, whether you wanna do consignment or you wanna just do a bulk buyout, I would love to be able to help you. Um, it's pretty crazy. I've had at least minimum 20 resellers reach out to me just wanting to close down their store, move on to greater and greener pastures, which is totally fine. And then a lot of people also do have full-time jobs and they're like, you know, I don't, I can't you know look at these items anymore i want them gone so if that's you and you're just really trying to move on to the next stage in life or the next level or you like to source and you want to partner with us link down below schedule a call and um, we'd love to see if we could be a good fit together like i said we're moving about i'd say at least minimum 1,000 items per week on whatnot so it's been a great thing to be able to partner up with people so yeah we'd love to see if we're a good fit all right this is something i've had for a while it is a sleep suit onesie for men um it's a size extra large it is new with tags and it took a year to sell almost a year to sell so for 11 dollars plus shipping this was a great sale here and whenever i see plus size ralph lauren women's button-ups women's tops and they have a nice pattern i'm generally going to pick it up so i picked this up about two months ago it's just a ralph lauren women's 3x plus size button-up striped it was listed for 30 dollars and it sold for full price within a couple months so a nice one ralph lauren any plus size women's stuff is generally going to be a pickup just make sure you're not spending too much money all right this is a huckberry brand the brand is billy reed and if you don't know what huckberry is go to huckberry.com and you'll find that billy reed is sold on that website and this is a very nice billy reed linen button-up shirt sold for full price of 25 dollars plus shipping this is a men's Burberry Brit polo. It has a small stain on the sleeve and it was listed about eight months ago. I did take an offer of $13 plus shipping, but these typically sell in great condition for about $35 to $45. So whenever you see Burberry Brit polo, long sleeve or short sleeve, I generally price them in that $30 to $40 range. So that's why it sold for a little less, which is fine. A little stain, just move the inventory out and go buy better inventory. Man, I've been selling these North Face convertible cargo pants like crazy these last few months. Here's another pair that sold for $27.50 plus shipping. I pick these up all the time between $5 and $7, and I usually list them for about $35 on eBay. So that was a nice sale right there.
So just keeping that open mind about your business going forward is greatly going to help you take advantage of the opportunities that are coming up and that are available to you right now. Like I said before in past videos, we wanted to do whatnot back in January, February, March, but we were giving all the reasons as to why it would not work, why it could not work, why it would just not be a possibility. And then we just started and took action and look at the results. So you just don't know what something can be until you give it a try. And maybe you've tried whatnot before and it doesn't fit your business model. That's fine. I just say at least try something once and give it your all for a reasonable amount of time and then look at the results and see if it's worth your time at all. We all have different time limits on how we value our time. Are you a thousand dollar an hour person? Uh, type of person or are you a hundred dollar an hour type of person what is the time that you are wanting to place what is the value you're wanting to place on your time and then measure your business activities based on those results like is it taking you 15 hours to source all day to source six items you know i don't know you just really need to keep track on how much money you're making per hour to make sure all of this is even worth it guys like your time is so valuable you might be trying to run a six-figure reselling business but you might spend 99 thousand into that business and you make a thousand dollars a year so you really got to make sure that it's worth your time and we have this men's banana republic cardigan it's an extra large it was listed about nine eight nine months ago and it sold for 17 dollars plus shipping and just to give you an update on my wife's neck procedure as we were using all of the whatnot proceeds to put towards my wife's neck procedure she was in a car accident 13 years ago terrible whiplash lash injury. We got diagnosis last year on what she needs to correct the problem. And we are one month by the end of September, she is calling to schedule the appointment for this neck procedure. Praise God. Hallelujah. All thanks to you and people helping support in the whatnot channel and the whatnot shows. It's been a blessing. It's been a journey, but no way by any means you know, whether starting some other business, would we have been able to do it, first of all, without God, without you, and without the support of my wife to be able to start this adventure. So thank you to everybody. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, God, that we are now literally three, four weeks away from making that phone call, scheduling the dang appointment, and getting this thing done. Let's go. This is a really good brand to be picking up. The brand is called Flax. They make like organic, sustainable materials, a lot of linen. I think they only make linen, hemp stuff. Um, so Flax shirt, women's size small. I put which whimsical, flowy, gothic linen button-up pocket as my title. Uh, hopefully that helps you. And it's a... Uh, sold for $25 plus shipping after being listed for about six weeks. I sell these jeans all the time in my store. Lucky Brand Jeans had a 35% sell-through rate in my store over the summer. That should be expected to be picked up here with winter upon us. These sold in about one month for $24 plus shipping. They're the one to one slim straight model. Whatnot has also greatly changed my mindset into some of the money all the time. I just bought this North Face down jacket uh, for $75 um, at a local thrift store, and I listed it last week, and I listed for $329. Uh, someone offered $230. I'm going to take that, and that's the some of the money all the time principle. Uh, Whatnot has definitely just broken down holding on to items for extra money. I could care less. I'm all about giving someone a deal and blessing the other person. And just, if you want this for a dollar, take it. Just take it. Some of the money all the time. Greatest principle known to mankind. I'm accepting that offer and boom, turning 75 into 230 probably after fees, probably just doubling my money a little bit more. Great place to live. And I know a lot of people struggle with that, especially if you're a beginner. You really want all of the money all the time, but you do need to realize that is it worth waiting that extra time for the extra $2, the extra $4. In my experience, personally, 
And in my opinion, it's not. Because we're alive today, and how many more times can we turn over that money if we get that money back with a smaller return on investment to go buy more items that are better now versus waiting a year for the extra $4? Do you know how many times you could turn over that $4? So just consider, hey, if you're having a slower day on Poshmark, Mercari, eBay, maybe consider start taking some offers that are a little bit lower that still give you good margins, but that just you don't have to wait around for all the money. This is a men's flannel shacket by Prana. Um, definitely seeing a lot more shackets being sold, which is basically just a shirt jacket, heavy duty um, flannel, and it's a size extra large, sold for $20 plus shipping after being listed about a month ago. These were some really destroyed American Eagle men's jeans. After being listed for about three months, I did take a best offer on these for $15 plus shipping. I typically list them between $20 and $25, so still happy um, just because these had a lot of distressing on them. These are actually some linen blend uh, Banana Republic women's pants, size 12. Uh, they're the Martin Fit, and they sold, after being listed for about four months, they sold for $18 plus shipping. Definitely happy with that price, as linen is more of a summer, springtime material, so just happy to move on with these pants. I just personally love finding this brand. It's Scotty Vest. They make like travel vests, um, vests with like 12 different pockets in them. You'll recognize the tag when you see it. It's Scott E Vest. Their jackets go for like 100, 150. Their vests usually go between 50 to 100, depends on condition. This sold for $60 plus shipping. It's a size large Scotty vest, and it was listed not too long ago, about a month ago. So really happy with that purchase, um, especially since my thrift store, they're sleeping on this. They only priced this at like five bucks. So Scotty vest, definitely a brand to be picking up. This is a Billabong men's t-shirt. Nothing too special about it. It has a cool graphic on the back. It was listed about four or five months ago and it sold for actually $17 plus shipping. This was a beautiful, gorgeous duster cardigan. The brand was new for me um, and the brand is called Time For Me. It is a embroidered duster cardigan. They make a lot of embroidered crazy sweatshirts, cardigans. Um, this was listed about three months ago. It did sell for full price of $45 plus shipping. So remember that brand, Time For Me. Um, they just make crazy embroidered cardigans. So this was a nice quick flip. Still a ton of random items going out from that storage unit buyout from almost two and a half years ago now. This is a stainless steel uh, serving tray. This was listed about a year ago and it sold for $10 plus shipping. These Adriana Goldsmead women's jeans sold for $11 plus shipping. They were listed about four or five months ago. Okay, I just listed these Gap jeans about a week ago and I took a best offer of $14 plus shipping, but I'm not spending more than $5 for these. Um, typically list them for about $25. These are some tactical cargo pants by the brand Mascot. They're a size 4630. They're a double knee and they were in great shape. I listed them for $25 plus shipping. They sold for full price after being listed for about a month. These are some North Face size 12 women's pants listed about two months ago and they sold for full, actually they sold on a best offer of $20 plus shipping. This men's Lacoste polo shirt sold for $15 plus shipping, and I usually list them about $25. Just depends on the size and the condition. So this sold within about a month for 15 bucks plus shipping. Love this brand, 5'11 Tactical Men's Pants. These were actually listed about four or five months ago, and they sold on a best offer of $25 plus shipping. Love this brand as well. This is Mountain Hardware. Uh, this is just a men's fleece jacket, size extra large, listed also about a month ago and sold uh, for $20 plus shipping. All right, and we have this women's Nike size small, thick, heavy hoodie. It sold for $17.95 plus shipping. 
So just to give you some encouragement, if you're feeling stuck right now in your business, you're feeling lost, you're feeling like you don't know the next direction for you to take to help you start getting more sales, you're going to have to have, number one, an open mind. you got to have an open mind as far as what opportunities are out there for you to start picking up sales in your resale business. Do you want to start going more of the wholesale route and start doing more volume? Do you want to start just going out to more and more thrift stores? Do you need to start finding new connections? new sourcing habits you definitely got to have an open mind do not just stay stuck because if you stay stuck you're not going to grow and you can never grow in comfort so you got to start pushing yourself and start maximizing your potential to see the growth that you want to see i by no means am standing around in here picking my nose walking around I, when i'm in here i'm working so we're getting stuff done we're putting things away we're getting things put out and shipped out as soon as possible. And you just really don't know what you're capable of until you really push yourself. So I just encourage you to, to have an open mind, push yourself, and don't give up. Never give up on your dream, ever, ever, ever. Because if you're not working on your dream, you're working on someone else's. Why would you wanna work on someone else's big dream when you have a great dream inside your heart right now that the world needs? So get on with your purpose. I encourage you to do so. Reach out if you have questions. I hope you all have a blessed day. Peace.